In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, as we begin this Novena Masses in preparation for Christmas, let us ask the Lord to purify our hearts and dispose them to accept Him in our lives. Lord Jesus, you are the reason for our hope, peace, and joy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to fulfill the promises of the prophets of old. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you, you reconcile us with the Father and with one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, Almighty God, always go before us and follow after, so that we who await with heartfelt desire the coming of your only begotten Son may receive your help both now and in the life to come. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. God has a plan of salvation which includes both the Jews and the pagans. But for this plan to become a reality, the basic condition to be fulfilled by all is to observe what is right and do what is just. Our reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Observe what is right, do what is just. For my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, the Son of Man who holds to it, who keeps the Sabbath free from profanation and his hand from any evil doing. Let not the foreigner say, when he would join himself to the Lord, the Lord will surely exclude me from his people. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God, who gathers the dispersed of Israel, others will I gather to him beside those already gathered. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Come, Lord, bring us your peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. 
I do not accept testimony from the human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. John was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang unang gabi ng ating mga simbang gabi. Tatandaan natin, mga kapatid, na ang simbang gabi po ay bahagi pa rin ng ating paghahanda. Alam mo natin yan, linggo-linggo pinapaalala sa ating lahat. Nasa panahon tayo ng Adviento. At anong ibig sabihin ng Adviento? Ang paghahanda. Kaya nasa huling linggo na po tayo. Kumusta ba ang inyong paghahanda? Kung titignan niyo po yung Advent Rift natin, sa susunod na linggo o ngayong linggo, pang-apat na kandila na. Muli po, pasensyahan na. Nais ko po itatanong sa inyo, kumusta ba ang inyong paghahanda? Mahalaga po ito bilang mga katoliko. Sapagat sa atin, ang kapaskuhan ay hindi lamang po about party-party. Ang kapaskuhan ay paggugunita na pagkakatao, pagkakaroon ng katawang tao ng ating Panginoon. Mas malalim po. Kaya tuwing linggo, pinapaalala sa atin, maghihintay tayo ng 25. Maghahanda tayo. And what is being emphasized there is this one. Yung kalooban. Kaya baka masyado tayong busy dyan sa mga pag-accumulate ng mga material na bagay, eh baka nakalimutan natin na ang kapaskuhan po sa ating mga Kristiyano ay tungkol po dito. Kaya nga naman sabi ko, mahalaga itong simbang gabi sapagat ito po yung tinatawag natin the peak of our preparations. Hindi ito tipong is, ano lang, ganun lang, gawain lang, gusto lang natin ng ganyan. Hindi po. Take note, ang simbang gabi po, these are novena masses. Nine days po. Originally, Misa de Gallo ang ibig sabihin nito. Pag madaling araw, Misa de Gallo. Gallo, isa pong salitang Espanyol na ibig sabihin ay manok. Sa Italiano, gallo. Kaya nga po nung unang panahon, 4 a.m. ang mass. These are novena masses, nine days na paghahanda in honor of Our Lady, of, the, of our, the, the, blood, the Mother of Jesus. At anong tinutumbok nitong novena masses sa atin? Upang mas maging malalim yung pagdiriwang natin ng kapaskuhan. Baka ang inaasahan natin tuwing Pasko, eh, eh, kung, kung ilan ba matanggap nating regalo. Kung bonus, baka bonus lang yung, yung iniisip natin. Nako, maging maingat po tayo. Tayo po, mga Kristiyano, ito ang tito, tinutumbok ng ating paghahanda. And this novena masses is actually trying to tell us to do something so that we will have a deeper meaning when we celebrate the solemnity of the birth of Jesus Christ. And the Gospel today talks about John the Baptist. Si San Juan Bautista po ang bida sa kwento ng Ibanghelyo nitong unang simbang gabi. Bahit nga ba naging bida ito? Well, sabihin natin, ayon sa Ibanghelyo ni San Juan, ganito po yan. Ginamit niya yung konsepto ng salita. Nagsimula ang lahat sa salita. At ang salita ay nagkatawang tao. At kung meron mang isa sa mga nagsimula na magsalita tungkol sa salitang ito na naging tao, ay walang iba po mga kapatid, si San Juan Bautista. That is why Jesus is giving him this kind of compliment, compliment, very complimenting words about John. He is like a burning and a shining lamp. And definitely, you will enjoy his lamp temporarily. 
But there is this kind of eternal light, and that is none other than the Son of God. Parang ito, parang simbahan natin ito. Kung kayo'y papanik po, papunta dito sa Basilica, nagsisimula sa mga Christmas lights doon, maya-maya may mga maraming ilaw na sa gitna, nasa patio, hanggang palapit ng palapit, narito yung tunay na liwanag na magbibigay sa atin na panghabang buhay na kaligtasan. Kaya nga sabi ko, karapat dapat din. Tunay nga naman, kung may bibida man, pinakaunang bida dapat sa paghahandang ito upang mas maging malalim yung ating, ang kahulugan ng ating pagdiriwan ng Kapaskuhan. Ito po ay walang iba, kundi ang papel ni San Juan Bautista. Sapagkat siya ang unang nagsalita. At ang mga salita niya ay ang mga salitang nagbibigay ng biyaya. Kaya mga kapatid, kung meron man tayong, meron mang nais akong ibigay na hamon para sa ating lahat bilang bahagi ng ating paghahanda, take note, nine days na lang Pasko na. I think, let us begin with evaluating our words. Kumusta ba ang iyong mga salita? Take note, ang kapaskuhan ayon sa Ebanghelyo ni San Juan ay tungkol sa salita. Lahat nagsimula sa salita at ang salita ay nagkaraon ng katawang tao. The Word became flesh and the Word was God. And this word is indeed a gift for all of us. Kung meron mang isang magandang biyayang ipinagkalob sa atin, pinapaalala sa ating lahat nitong Kapaskuhan, ay ang biyaya ng salita. Kaya ito po yung hamon. Siguro on this first day, magandang gawin nating assignment or resolution. Kumusta ba ang iyong mga salita? Ito ba'y nagbibigay ng biyaya? Ito ba'y nagbibigay ng pag-asa? O baka naman kabaliktaran? Kumusta ba ang iyong mga salita everyday? Anong salita ba yung una mong sinasabi pag gising mo? Ano ba ang madalas mong sinasabi? Bago ka matulog, anong salita ba ang huli mong winiwika? It's an evaluation of ano ang aking mga salita? Ano ba ang nangingibabaw sa aking mga salita? Tatanda natin, ulitin ko po. Nitong Kapaskuhan, kung meron mang isang malalim na kahulugan, ito po ay tungkol sa biyaya ng salita. Ang salita na nagbibigay buhay. Ang salita na managsilbing biyaya ng sangkatauhan. Kaya in a very simple way in our context, in a personal level, I guess, let us take this as an inspiration of our own words. Sa lahat ng aking mga salita sa araw na ito, ano ba ang nangingibabaw sa mga salita ko? Maganda na tayo magsalita. Kasi ngayon, minsan, hindi na nagsasalita eh. Kaya maging maingat, may mga kabataan dyan, hindi na nagsasalita, masyado ng busy sa cellphone. Minsan, may mga gathering, may mga Christmas party o message, birthday party o message niya, message. Minsan, hindi na salita ang sinasabi. Wala. Kinakailangan natin magsalita sapagkat ito'y biyaya. Ang hamon lang, sana, ang ating mga salita ay magsilbing biyaya rin ng kapwa. At higit sa lahat, mga kapatid, bilang bahagi ng pagpapalalim ng ating kapaskuhan sa kahulugan ng kapaskuhan, sana po, yung ating mga kilos mismo, yung ating buhay mismo, ay nagsasalita. Tignan nyo yung mga santo Minsan walang sinasabi. Tignan nyo ang ating mahal na inang si Maria. Very few words lang ang sinasabi. Subalit, ang buhay niya mismo 
ay nagsasalita. Kaya sana bilang mga katoliko at kristyano, yung buhay nawa natin ay nagsasalita. Kita nyo halimbawa si San Martin de Porres. Napakasimpleng santo. Ang ginagawa, linis lang. Kita mo yung image niya, may walis tingting. Linis lang. Pero ang kanyang paglilinis, nagsasalita. Kaya sana po kahit sa simpleng pamamaraan, simpleng pakikitungo sa kapwa, subukan natin, ipanalangin natin, na ang buhay mismo natin ay magsisilbing salita ng biyaya. First night, simbang gabi. Sana po, tuloy-tuloy. Teka, by the way, ha, ingat lang. Ano ba ang nangingibabaw sa iyong pagsisimbang gabi? Baka naman mga petitions. Baka naman masyadong maraming wish. Hindi po. Sabi ko nga po, pagsasailalim, pagkakaroon ng malalim na pagkahulugan sa pagdiriwang ng kapaskuhan. Di bali na kahit wala. Di bali na kahit simple. Ang mahalaga, dapat ang angat na angat sa kapaskuhang ito ay walang iba kundi ang Diyos. Sapagat iyan mismo ang mensahe ni San Juan Bautista. Hindi niya iniisip ang buhay niya. Ang alam niya, ang mga salita niya ay ang mga salita tungkol sa Diyos. We all stand. As we begin the Christmas novena, let us present our petitions to the Lord with hearts full of hope and trust, saying, Come, Lord Jesus, we need you. Come, Lord Jesus, we need you. For the Universal Church, may she respond to the call of the Lord to renew herself in the light of the Gospel so as to become a source of inspiration to all mankind. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, we need you. For the Holy Father, our Bishop, and all our spiritual leaders, like the prophets of old and the apostles, may they constantly remind us of the priorities that really matter. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, we need you. For all our kababayan who are working abroad, may they celebrate this novena with the same fervor they had when they were in their homeland. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, we need you. For all those who are unemployed, homeless, sick, or suffering in any way, may the beginning of the Simbanga be fill their hearts with hope for better days. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, we need you. For the Filipino families, especially the ones that are undergoing trials of various kinds, may this Christmas novena be for them a source of healing and strength. Let us pray. Lord, come, Lord Jesus, we need you. For our community, may this novena be for all its members an opportunity to come closer to the Lord and rediscover the preciousness of our faith. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, we need you. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Lord Jesus Christ, grant that this novena may be for all of us a moment of deep spiritual renewal. May we prepare ourselves perseveringly 
for the commemoration of your birthday. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, 
for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue, and with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have fallen asleep. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, Saint Martin de Porres, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all.
please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon bago humarap sa magbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dala dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. Replenish with the food of a spiritual nourishment. We humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Marami salamat po sa niyang pakikisa nito unang gabi ng ating simbang gabi. Sabi ko nga po, sanay sa patuloy ng ating pagkompleto sa nine novena masses, mas laling lumalalim ang paggugunita natin sa araw ng Pasko. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. You rejoice at the approaching commemoration of Christ's birth. When He comes again in glory, may He reward you with endless life. Amen. May God make you steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and untiring in love all the days of your life. Amen. And may God reward you for the sacrifice you made to participate in this first day of our novena. May He enable you to persevere to the end. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now do the blessing of the sick. Alalahanin po natin ang ating mga kakilala, kamag-anak, kapamilya na nangangailangan din po ng panalangin sa paggaling. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. 
to the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. This time po, blessing para sa mga religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, and cantals be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.